What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do have top 10 snipe filters in NBA 2K20. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff, guys. Please drop the like, drop the sub. That would be so greatly appreciated because once we do it 11.5K, we are doing 100,000 MT giveaway on uh, Xbox or PS4. So make sure... To go follow the Insta and Twitter for that. And also, if you do want to buy some MT, make sure to hit me up on uh, Twitter or Instagram as well. And yes, today, top 10 snipe filters in NBA 2K20. It's going to be at least 8 eight to 10 snipe filters. I'm just going to name it 10 because honestly, these snipe filters are mad good. We're going to go over a couple. Let's get into the first one, man. This one. I'm going to go over this one because this is the best one in the game. But you do need millions of MT to do this. So we're going to go over it quickly. Or we'll just go over this one first. It's pretty much just Galaxy Opal, the easiest buyout there is. Uh, like I said, man, I have Larry Hughes and Jay Terry in my collection. They are going to be the cheapest Opal. So now, how do you guys, how are you going to get as many snipes as possible with, you need, first off, you need a lot of MT. That's all I'm going to say. If you really want to make millions of MT per day, you could buy out every single buyable Opal in the game. I think it would cost around two to three million MT. At this stage in the game, I think most of you guys should have a squad at least 2 million MT. At least. So if I were you, if you want to make 1 mil a day, easily, you could do this method. You could sell your whole entire team and snipe them back off the Opal filter enabled. How do you do that? You go Galaxy Opal enabled, and then you simply just buy out every single Opal you have that is dirt cheap. For instance, man, Steve Francis, there's a million Opals. We'll just go over to buy out. There's so many Opals. J Kid, Lowry, Jason Terry, who buy the diamond, Lou, Larry, Canone, Kenan, whatever, Victor Aladipo, Jamal Crawford, Sarunis, Nate Thurman, De Devin Booker, all these cards, man. If you buy out all these cards and you press enable, you are getting the cheesiest way to get all these snipes. And in fact, most likely you will get every single snipe because I don't think people actually do this method, but that's just one snipe filter. So we're going to get into a couple. We're going to fly through these, man. Next one, Silver Current Series 20. This one is money. This is a very good snipe filter. You could be able you could snipe a lot on this snipe filter. So as you can see, the minimum value of these cards are a thousand MT. So you could pretty much just put your filter to 950 and consistently refresh and make minimum profit, which is deadly. I would recommend putting your maximum bid over the 950 value and just continue to refresh. It's a pretty solid method if you ask me. And also Today, guys, we have a lot more filters, so one second. Alrighty, so next filter. This filter has been good all year. It has been deadly all year. It is Amethyst Man 20 NBA. This is going to be, this was a lot better when they were in packs, but still to this day, you could make millions of MT off this filter. I have done it myself. If you guys remember in the beginning of the game, man, this was the best filter ever. This filter was so deadly, and as you can see, if you did snipe these cards a couple weeks ago, that's a snipe. That is a snipe. I don't even care. He definitely goes for at least 5K. That is, nah, he'll go up in value, but I'm telling you right now, I promise you, man, this filter still has a lot of rarity in it because people are still trying to get AD, and people who are new to this game did not complete any of the Amethyst 20. So if you haven't, this filter's for you, man. You're going to make a lot of MT. Yes, some of the cards might sell for a little bit because they're kind of outdated, but still, you can make a lot of MT off these cards. Next filter, man, let's get into it. This this is crazy. This filter is mad crazy. You know why, bro? First off, heat checks, bro. Heat checks are still going for a lot of MT. Why? They're out of packs. They've been out of packs for so long, and with no content dropping on Friday, the market is inflated like crazy, and you can make a lot of MT. So... We're going to put the heat check filter to around 3,500, 
and just continue to refresh man the only problem is with this filter you kind of do need to know pricing or pretty much with any filter you do want to do is definitely you need to know pricing that's number one value so here we go 359 minutes jordan mccray 2800 that's a snipe this card's a snipe these are all snipes 2800 you could sell all these cards for at least 35 I'm telling you, man, the heat check the heat check filter is going to be money. You just gotta know your pricing, man. Like I said, and man, you could probably get a couple of these for 2K and then make a lot of MT off it. Isaac Bonga for 2850. Those are steals. I promise you, they are steals. Put it down one more. They're popping up like crazy right now. I don't know exactly why. I'm guessing people did get AD and just are throwing up on the auction for 2800. Honestly, that's what I did. But yo, this is a very good filter as well. Let's get into the next one. This one is the pink diamond filter now. If you want this filter to be deadly, you need at least 50k to buy out some of these buyable opals like Jared Dudley, David Thompson, Rod Strickland, and all that good stuff. So, in this video, I'm just going to buy out these cards right here because they do ruin the filter. I'm going to throw them in my collection for you guys, and I'm about to snipe. I'm going to show you exactly how deadly this filter could actually be, man. These are the cards that do kind of ruin it, and of course, the Pink Diamond Jared Dudley, which was in the locker code. So, yes, man, this filter is deadly once you buy those cards i think i'm gonna need to buy david thompson too unless i did and i didn't really ro really realize but uh yeah pink diamond enabled you could get a million snipes on this one there are so many good cards you could buy did i not press enable there it is 10,000 mt there we go so you could also buy john mclock and then carry trooper love but honestly it doesn't even matter you could you could kick it up at 10,000 and still probably get most of the snipes that's a snipe right there reggie thales for there we go we got one snipe in the video so as you guys can see this filter is mad good definitely trust the process on this filter i would definitely recommend it man let's get into the next filter man this is the diamond filter this filter has been good the whole entire year yes it's very cheap there's a lot of cheap diamonds in this game but the fact that you can get diamonds for 2000 mt and flip them for four five six consistently all day yes it's going to be deadly and also this video is definitely not that bad the, bleh, it's definitely not that good on sundays because sunday sunday is just not a good day to snipe let's be real diamonds actually just went up a lot they were at like 1750 base not too long ago they're up to 3k why because 2k dropped like no packs this week which is absolutely crazy and also if you did invest in doug mcdermott you are taking w's if you invested in any diamonds for 1900 mt they're all up a lot so if you did if you listen to me congratulations you made a lot of mt it's that simple what is this like the six night filter the diet filter man I'm telling you right now, it's a very good filter. I definitely recommend it. Let me think. There's a lot of other filters. Let's go over this one. This one is big money, big. This is high risk, high reward. High risk, high reward because honestly, the time periods, how long it's going to take you. Man, Galaxy Opal Prime Series 3 on the buyable. This, this might take you hours to get one snipe. But here's the thing. It requires only 100,000 MT. Okay? You don't have to buy out any of the players. You don't have to do any enables. It's just simply Luca, Lamar, and Paul George. And if you get one of them, it's a minimum 100,000 bit, 100,000 profit for Luca. A minimum Lamar Odom is about 150 to 200,000 profit. You get Paul George is about 400,000 profit. So if you want to waste a couple hours on this filter and possibly get a huge snipe, this is definitely the one, man. Let's check out Prime Series 2. I think that one's actually good as well. Yeah, Prime Series 2 is also a good one. We got Kevin Durant, Oscar Robertson, and all that good stuff. Actually, let's check it out. So, Kevin Durant, Ben Simmons, and Oscar Robertson. This one is also definitely deadly. I wish there was just one filter for Galaxy Opal Prime Series in general. That would be sick. But yeah, this one's also good. You could honestly flip through Prime Series 3 and Prime Series 2. And honestly, guys, there's really not that many other snipe filters in the game. Like I said, if you want to make thousands of MT, you could definitely buy out the Galaxy Opals and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's really it. If I were you to make the most MT the fastest, I would probably hit up the diamond filter or the pink diamond filter. High risk, high reward, definitely in the Galaxy Opal filter. But if you want to make millions of MT, buy out every single Galaxy Opal in the game, which I'm about to do. I'm think I'm, I am mm, I want to sell Paul George, Jared Smith, Giannis, Eddie Curry, Lamar Odom, and Clay. Because forget 12 and 0, man. It's, there's no point. It's so sweaty. It's not even fun to play. If you lose by one or two, you want to break your controller. So probably gonna try it out if i do i'll let you guys know on twitter so yeah that's all i got for the video man top 10 snipe filters done hope you guys enjoyed have a go and stay tuned for more content peace